Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylon here and today I want to talk to you all about something that is important to me. And before I begin, I want to say happy Pride Month everybody. I know it's June 2nd. I meant to get this out yesterday, but we're doing this today instead. Now, I want to discuss why I think Marvel Strike Force is really falling flat this year with Pride-related events compared to previous years, and even compared to some other games right now who are going a bit above and beyond with not only brand new character releases, but more more events and stuff that are going on specifically for this, which is something uh, that Strike Force would normally do and have done in other years, but for whatever reason, that's not the case this year and I think it's kind of garbage uh, we're gonna get into why this might be the case and kind of showcase some of the stuff that I wish we were getting that other games are getting instead so if you're ready to go then let's go boil this down Okay, and so I want to start things off here. Now, I did mention this a, a little bit in my previous short video, but this, and you know, kudos to the guys who, you know, because I found out now that actually this uh, calendar was done by the people who, no, you know, normally do the other calendars, and they just got contacted by Strike Force to do this, uh, Scopely to do this. Uh, so cool for them. Uh, but I, it's really embarrassing, like, what we're getting for Pride Month, the whole month of June. And, and realistically, let's be clear, um, Dazzler is not the pride character like she's not a pride character she you know even here like in the description of the event like nothing kind of alludes to her being a pride related character release it's just like that she just happens to be in the month of june but it's just it, it's happenstance it has nothing to do with it actually what they are doing for the pride month is they're doing this seven day event the pride inferno that gets you this really shitty uh, Nico Minoru costume, so I, I apologize if there's some people who actually want this, but it's a load of crap, and actually the original costume is is better, so, you know, it t take it for what you will, like, if you actually like this, but I think it's go garbage anyways, and we get seven days of an event called Pride Inferno. In previous years, we had, well, we had the Moon Dragon uh, and Philavel releases. We had the Moon Dragon actual event, which was two weeks long. And then we had an additional event regarding the Iceman costume. So we had a costume and characters at the same time. And a lot of this went on for about three to four weeks. So this was pretty much for the full month of June last year uh, when Infinity Watch came out in 2021. Uh, this year, the schedule is all borked for them. I mean, they can't even get Cosmic Crucible out when they wanted to, which was like patch 6.0. So I think since then things have been really turned around for them and we do of course uh, outside of the seven days of that we have the in-game calendar which is live now the pride month calendar right so we have a two-week logging calendar Woo! you know like that's that's nothing out of the ordinary that we would normally have uh in this game you know it's no different than any other you know logging calendar that we have occasionally so it's nothing special there the characters that are included in this are pretty garbage as you anyways you know 15 nico shards really doesn't make much of a difference when you know, um, most of us got a four star with her anyway, so these extra 15 aren't really going to get you anywhere. She's not a very good character, unfortunately. Uh, but that being aside, it's just a really terrible, I think, excuse for what they're doing this year. And, it, you know, it kind of frustrates me a little bit because not only have they done better in the past, uh, but it feels like they're just really dropping the ball in a lot of ways, actually. And ever since May, things have just been. They, they haven't really given us a reliable product, uh, you know, a viable product. There's barely minimum viable products is what we have been getting. And so a lot of the events lately have been pretty crap. I feel like they've been putting a lot of their resources towards uh, the Scourge events and haven't really been paying attention to much else. Uh, we'll wait until we see. And this Ace of Rays is coming with Gambit. You know, I'm sorry for all of you people who, who like Gambit, but this has nothing to do with Pride. And I feel like it's a really bad... Uh, timing uh, for a release. I'm not saying that everything has to be pride related necessarily and some people are going to like say in the comments you know about Gambit and you know him being like bi or something like that it's it does, that's not I don't like this and so uh, that being said I want to kind of pivot to things that are going on in other games and things that I was not only brought to my attention but some things that I was kind of like googling around myself. There are two games in particular actually that have actual pride related month events and releases for new characters for their games which i think is pretty cool the first thing that i want to point out here is uh wiccan 
uh, a part of Young Avengers, but also just more broadly, uh, Wiccan and Hulkling, you might uh, know those two characters. And so this is Marvel Puzzle Quest. Yeah, I know, it's like those Match 3 games. Uh, they are doing a their release of uh, Wiccan. I believe this might even be an extra... I, I don't know much about the game, frankly, other than that it's a Match 3 game. Uh, a costume, maybe, or something for the character. I don't know how you play it, frankly. Uh, but uh, I, don't, I don't know what the point of the character is, that is. Uh, but they're adding this in, and they're doing things here. That's uh, one thing that I found out. Uh, Marvel Future Fight hasn't actually announced what they're doing yet, so I don't know if they're doing anything or not maybe they just haven't announced it yet uh but one uh game that is doing quite a bit of things is marvel contest of champions so not only did they release this photo here uh they which actually these are the characters i believe that are already existingly in the game so that uh, from from what i know hercules angela uh valkyrie MCU Valkyrie, Black Widow, uh, sorry, Black Cat, uh, Iceman, Wiccan, Hulkling, and America Chavez. I think these may be the characters that are already in Marvel Contest of Champions, though. And I want to kind of show you this video here. This is a reveal trailer for the two new characters, some which are on that photo there, who are just coming brand new into Marvel Contest of Champions for this month. And, you know, I don't play the game, but honestly, I think this is a great way to start off Pride Month and something that they're doing way better than Marvel Strike Force is. And, you know, it's a kind of a little bit sad, because not only are they doing more, but it's characters that I really wanted to have in MSF. And we're going to talk about that after the trailer, about why we should have had these two characters in the game. And there's Super Scroll. And, and just, just I wanted to pause this really quick, but the, for those unfamiliar with this version, this look of, of Wiccan, uh, so in the comics right now, he is known as Emperor Doric the Sixth or something like that. I forget the number. Uh, he, he is the uh, he is the leader of the Kree Scroll Alliance currently. So you know, in the comics, they kind of. They merge together, I guess, and so he leaves both of them because Hulkling, uh, for those who are unfamiliar with the character, he is uh, from Kree and Skrull parentage, and uh, Wiccan, who is his you know, lover, basically is the court wizard now for that. This is his kind of, I think this is his Young Avengers look, actually. Uh, he has a separate, uh, I believe it was in the photo, a more of a cosmic sort of appearance now that he has. But this is uh, uh, Hulkling's current one, and I really like that. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And I know I don't play the game, but just looking at this, like, something that we could have had in Marvel Strike Force, kind of, anim you know, in Strike Force terms. For the Young Avengers, especially, and we're going to talk about that. And just even looking at this makes me think of all of the things that we should and could have had with these two characters. And it makes me kind of jealous, actually. Because I really wanted these two characters to come to the game. Now, I'm not going to go start playing the game, but, you know, they were willing to go out of their way to do this and release it for Pride Month. And, you know, for what it's worth, I can I can get on board with that. You know, like, I don't I don't play the game, but it, it's really awesome. You know, I think a lot of people, the animations in the, in the game, for what it's worth, look really cool. And, and it really makes me think of, you know, what we could have had in Marvel Strike Force. And, and you know, characters like Hulkling and Wiccan are actually characters that I would 7-star. Uh, they're the, they're my gambit. They're my gambit and rogue. Like I would spend hundreds of bucks actually to take them to seven star, you know, if they had come out in June. Um, and they're not, and that's unfortunate because those two specifically 
our Young Avengers characters. Uh, that's probably the most likely tag that, that it would have made sense, but that's not what we got in the game, right? We got some sort of, you know, frankly, fucked up version of Young Avengers. I can't, I can't I'm not going to mishmash that any, any, you know, it's terrible. So the, when they started Young Avengers back in 2020, you know, it was really messed up because we had these four it was a four-man team frankly squirrel girl america chavez miles and miss marvel and the only member of that team that was actually a young avengers was america chavez okay and then for a long time the, the team sat around doing nothing um and miss marvel and miles are actually part of a separate team called the champions which is led largely by miss marvel but it's kind of like a young teenager cut of team and Squirrel Girl was part of the Marvel Rising TV show with Miss Marvel in that one. So there, that was the kind of only connections there. I, I don't remember officially, but I think the Miss Marvel release was similar to the timeline of that Marvel Rising TV show. And I think that's why that happened. Uh, but as far as what we got more recently with the Young Avengers rework, we got Kate Bishop, who, okay, I'll, I'll admit, is a, you know, actual founding member of the Young Avengers. That's fine. Problem is, Echo is not a Young Avengers. I don't even know if she's Avengers, but she's definitely not a Young Avengers. And even in the MCU, she's way older than Kate Bishop, and the Young Avengers are largely teenager-type characters at that time. Uh, they're not really that anymore, but that's how it kind of started. And so this was just like a bastardization of the team from the beginning. But then they just carried on and like doubled down on that, which really pissed me off. Because we could have done something differently. Miles did get the Web Warriors team. Uh, and we could have done something else with Miss Marvel and didn't have to bring in Echo necessarily. There could have been space for uh, Wiccan and Hulkling to come out. And there could have been space for, hey, a re work to stature who is actually a founding member of the young avengers who's part of pym tech because pym tech is garbage and that could have been the tank replacement instead of miss marvel or hulkling could have been a tank or he could have been a brawler doesn't really matter he should have been in this game and he's not and that makes me really unhappy and the fact that they're really not doing much in this game uh for pride month other than those two things that i mentioned um doesn't set me up for anything good going forward regarding you know like <laughs> their inclusion in the game and i think that for whatever reason i want to say that marvel strike force is actually allergic to releasing gay male characters in this game i'm actually going that far as to saying that because every single year uh that we have had releases for pride month has always been uh, women characters and I'm not being misogynistic by saying this uh, but I feel like because of their audience people may, may be more likely to gravitate towards uh, lesbian characters or, or gay female characters because of the straight male audience out there than they would for uh, gay male characters coming to the game because people won't like that and that's not the first company this this wouldn't be the first company to do that kind of thing because this is quite common in other games that really aren't you know with it and and, and don't really want to get on board with this kind of stuff so in uh 2019 uh 2019 yeah we had america chavez come to the game in 2020 we had negasonic teenage warhead 2021 we had moon dragon and final Vell. and now if you really want to consider it she came out in may uh but we had nico minoru i guess is you know she's part of that as well uh what would have been better is actually if they released carolina dean instead uh for may june and that would have been a much better tie-in to the pride month event than nico because she's often seen actually carolina dean is often on the cover of a lot of different uh, pride related uh, instances for marvel and they could have done a runaways team instead of the stupid a force team that actually kind of sucks anyway so yeah to say that i'm disappointed is an understatement because i am and you know i don't often get visibly angry but this is probably as angry as i'm gonna get uh on a video because yeah i i'm not happy with what they've done this year i don't think things are gonna get better and it's a real disappointment as someone who cares a lot for this game like i don't think that Scopely is doing the right thing, and uh, we'll see as we go forward with the game whether or not we'll get these characters ever in my time of playing this. And, you know, if they do, great. Maybe I'll see them in 2023 uh, Pride when they get their act together. We'll find out. So that's the end of this video, everyone. Until next time, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.